In this video, I'll show you how to log into your WordPress website. Hey guys, what's up? This is Michaela from Simplifying Websites. And before I go into the tutorial, I want to ask you to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Come on guys. I'm here on the Portalwood website, which is a news website that I taught you how to create on the channel. It was the last complete website project I taught here. Check it out. I'll leave the link on the card and in the description if you want to go there and learn how to create this project, okay? Whenever I teach a complete project, many people have doubts because they leave the WordPress admin panel and sometimes don't know how to get back. I'm going to show you three ways to do this. Firstly, if you haven't done any extra configuration, you can come here to your website link. It has to be the main link, okay? So it has to end here. There can be no slash. If there's a slash, it means you're on a page. Then you put JotWP Admin. This is the default login page for your website. There, you'll enter the login and password you created when you installed WordPress. If you don't remember, you can put in lose password. Put in the name of your email address that you sent the email to. If you enter the wrong email address, it will say that there is no user with that email address. Then you enter another email address. If you still can't remember which email it was, that's fine. You can log in here within your hosting. I use Hosting a Hosting, which I recommend to you. It's a multinational hosting company. It has servers in several countries, including Brazil. It has support in Portuguese and English, so it's very good and very cost effective. And there's a video here on the channel teaching you how to buy hosting, domain, and install WordPress, which is this lesson here, where I teach you how to choose the best hosting plan according to the project you're doing. So there's this lesson here. In the description of each of our videos, there's always our hosting or affiliate link. If you buy with our link, it helps the channel and helps us to bring you more great content, okay? Then you log in here on your Hostinger or on any other hosting you have. Here at Hostinger it's like this. When you log in, you land on this page and here you'll find your plan. You can click on manage here at the top and then up here you'll see all the domains you have. So if you have more than one domain, for example, and your website is on this domain, that's where you'll click. In my case here, I have several hosting plans. That's why it's like this. But then... In your case, you'll only have one, right? You'll click straight through. If you're like me and have several plans, then you click here on hosting, find the plan you're on. You can always hover your mouse over it, click, and then it will show you the domains you have on that plan. Mine in this case is this one, portaludi.com.br. It's also here, see? You can switch from one to the other, but make sure you're on the right domain. Then you'll come to WordPress, Overview, where you'll always have to edit the website. Then you click on Admin Panel and Hostinger itself will log you into WordPress and you'll go straight there. See? And then once you're here, you can go to Users, All the Users, see the user you have here and if you don't remember the password, you can click on Edit. You can go down here and set a new password and change your password. Add the profile here, okay? You can change your email here too, the administrator email. You can change it here too. Or add a new user. Just click here on add new and create a new user, a new email. You can do that here, okay? The third way is as follows. Sometimes you or someone else who has messed with the website may have put in a security plugin that causes the default WordPress login page to disappear. My website, it's like this for example, if you log in here on the WP admin page, you'll get this page, error 404, because that page no longer exists, because I changed it, for security reasons, because this WP admin page is a standard login page. The people who are going to hack our websites already know, so they try to log in on that page, and when you create a different page, with a name that only you, only the person who manages your website knows what the login page is, the chance of the person hacking you decreases a little, you know. So this is a security measure. So it may have happened, the person may have registered a security plugin on your website and if that's the case, you can come here inside Hostinger, then you'll also come here, WordPress Overview, then you'll come here in Security, there will be all the plugins that are registered on the website. 
Then if you identify the security plugin, it usually says security, right? You see there which plugins you have. There'll be the security one. Then you'll click like this. Oh, to deactivate, that's it. You'll have deactivated it. Then you'll be able to log into that WP admin bar page again. Then you can log in normally. Then when you're inside the website, you come here to plugins, installed plugins, activated again. And then you go to its settings and find where the new security page is, okay? I'm not going to show it here because there are several security plugins that do this. So you'll have to do a little research. Oh, if it's the security plugin there, right? You'll search for the settings of the security plugin. I don't know what, which is the one you're using. Understand. Then you'll find inside it where it is. What's the access link to the login page? So you know that the next time you log in, you already know that you have to log in at that link, you know? So leave the security plugin active. Don't deactivate it because it's there for a reason to increase the security of the website. Okay, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like here on the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on social media. Hugs until next time. Bye.